Hey, what's going on guys? Rudy Tomjanovich here coming back at you with another video for more 49ers franchise. We're powering through this season. I know I probably said I was going to play this game versus uh, the Arizona Cardinals. It's not happening. <laughs> it's just not. That's what it comes down to. I'm also not going to play the Saints as we're going to simulate and eventually come up and play. I feel like we play the Rams like way too much. Who do we play next week? We haven't played the Seahawks in a while. We have not played the Seahawks in a while. So I'm going to scout and uh, and then play the Seahawks. I know a lot of people don't love the simulating. I need this season to be over with. That's just, that's where we are. All right, so I do want to show you guys, since we are in week 16, I mean, this season's quickly, quickly coming to an end and will likely end at this episode. I have a number of players I really, really like and would like to draft. Uh, I think there's no point in really keeping it a secret at this point. Uh, my number one prospect is Joey Lockler. And I'm actually, I think, going to uh, sort this because I never really do. It's just better to sort it by, by round, really, isn't it? Um, but there are a number of players I'm super interested in. And among them, I have Dre Priolo. Priolo. It's an annoying name. Uh, Mitchell Brinker, I think, is very good as well. Right up there with Dre Priolo. Craig Bolson in the seventh is very good. I think the talent for the rounds is absolutely phenomenal. So we're in a really, really good spot. I mean, you look at even Duncan Siebert out of West Virginia. Look at the quality of him as a seventh round player. Looks like a, a pretty talented quarterback. Um, Bernard Coleman I have watched. I don't think he's anything special. Just, I think B-plus man coverage is good at 6'2". If he's fast, um, that'll be solid. And I think there's another safety in the seventh round. Looks really good. Marshall Cooper. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and move him to the top of our seventh round radar. He looks like a very, very good safety. And we do have a number of picks. So we have four second rounders. We have the 10th overall pick. Um, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then two sevenths. And I'm, you know, potentially looking to trade Jimmy Garoppolo and acquire a top pick in order to, uh, in order to take a quarterback. I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Joey Cummings had a ton of XP, a thousand season rushing yards. Okay, so I'm gonna use all this XP. It's a decent bit, and uh, I will see you guys for this matchup against the Seattle Seahawks. This is the upgraded team. Jamar Wiggins up to an 86 overall. Jacorius Ward up to an 85. Team is coming along. I mean, we have some really, really good players. The front seven is phenomenal. Quan Alexander's up to a 90. Uh, offensive line is even improved. I mean, this is just a really, I think, solid team all around. And yeah, maybe we'll give the Seahawks a run for their money. We are six and eight. Simulation is never kind to us, but we're currently third in the division. We'll see if we can walk out of here. Uh, with a win today at Century Link for the first time in a while. We're an 85 overall, though they're a 92. Probably won't be easy. All right, here goes. 10 minutes on the clock here in the first quarter. Ritten's going to be the return man. No idea who that is because it's more than likely a computer generated player. Unless I'm just being stupid, but I can't think of any Ritten on the Seahawks or in the league, really. Looks like that's a play action. No, they're actually going to run it. Tried to get there with Obi Melifon, but we end up wrapping him up. Did get a decent gain in there first. Now third and four. Russell Wilson's going to have to be a guy to look out for. We know he's a very, very good player. Uh, and you'll notice I'm trying to not use a Reuben Foster as much because he just is so individually good. I thought I'd be able to make a play on that ball. Instead, it looks like Tajay Sharp, wide open. I don't know why like gameplay feels so much more uh different in ultimate team feels like you get different animations but we got to just make the right plays with Derek winfield as russell wilson tries to scramble nowhere to go it's the big rookie number 69 jamar wiggins on the sack just like reuben foster in real life looking to lock down these seattle seahawks we use Quan alexander and that's got to be an interception actually it's just great defense by jacorius ward Russell Wilson tried to go right back to Tajay Sharp. 
The rookie cornerback out of Nebraska was not having it. Third and 14. Shut it down. Oh, we're all over that. Thomas Rawls gets the catch. Derek Winfield's right there. And that should be a punt. Great start. Great start. We saw the Steelers uh, in last episode completely drive down the field for uh, Anna's first drive. And this time, I think, you know, besides one or two plays, we were really, really solid on defense. And a John Ryan punt is going to uh, let us start at the 27. Maybe pick a different profession, John, because I was horrific. I think we're going to start off with a run. I was going to try a screen. I just don't like them pressing on it. And Joey Cummings has some speed. One-on-one -on -one with Cam Chancellor. He's going to break a tackle. Wasn't really a one-on-one, -on -one, but kind of was. He broke the tackle. 16 yards. Not bad. You guys hate Joey Cummings for whatever reason. He's so good. But uh, Marcus Wiley already going to check into the game. To try and spin back. There was really nothing open. I tried to find the open space. Maybe spun a little bit too early. It's going to bring up second and 10. Let's see if somebody can get open here. That is wide open. Jimmy Garoppolo, perfect per usual. Love throwing to the flats with him. Third and 10. All right, Marcus Wiley in the game. Probably won't be able to throw to him. Why? Because he's in the flat. Just won't, won't ever work. I'm trying to scramble with Jimmy Garoppolo. What I would have liked to do there is uh, throw the ball. The reason why I didn't, and we'll punt as a... Looks like VJ Poole's injured. We're going to bring in John Theus for the time being. Because he'll, he'll return soon. But I can't, like, miss a throw to the flat with Jimmy Garoppolo every single time. And then continue to throw the, the ball. I mean, I just can't. I had to just try and scramble for the first down there. Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't have anywhere near the speed. And I just pulled a John Ryan. Actually, it's inside the 20. A little bit better. I think I want to come out in a lot more nickel. A rookie who's kind of come along nicely but doesn't get the playing time. Um... As oh no, Thomas Rawls, please. How? What is that angle? <laughs> I hate to come out here and complain, but oh, he's gonna break that tackle. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, it was Perry Cox is what I was gonna say. You know what I just realized? Yo, yo, yo. Is Perry Cox the doctor in Scrubs? Hold on. He totally is. What are the odds? I've watched this show. I just put two and two together. That's funny. You know what's not funny? Safeties that have no angle of pursuit towards the ball carrier. Let's take a look at Aaron Merritt. Granted, he is coming over from cornerback. Sees Thomas Rawls. What is this? What is that? Thomas Rawls juked out nobody. And it ended up being a gigantic touchdown. Love all Madden. It's so just so much fun. All right, Dante Buchanan. Let's give him a shot to return. I mean, he's been electric all season. Anytime he gets his hand on the ball, returns it just past where we would have gotten with a touchback on the kickoff. So not too bad. And he has a tough assignment all day. It's Richard Sherman. We'll see if we can get him open. And he's going to be. Can't throw it because, uh... Oh, and Jimmy Garoppolo's injured. Oh, Jimmy Garoppolo. His release is just so slow. And uh, that's great. C.J. Beathard's going to be the replacement. But he won't be. It's time for Smoke and Jay. You guys guessed it. You know. Smoke and Jay time. One of the best receivers ever to wear. It's not receivers. One of the best quarterbacks to ever don the uh, red and gold. Not off to a hot start here. Offensive line really not holding together very well. Third and 27. Oh, no. It's third and 27. We're just going to call an end around. Uh, make sure my controller's plugged in would be, I think, the most important thing there. And see if Dante Buchanan can somehow get the outside. We're going to spin. Uh, and take a gigantic hit because no one contained the outside or held the outside. Played perfect contained by the Seahawks. And uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is just going back in. And that's actually going to be blocked and recovered in the end zone. Uh, for a touchdown. Okay. Great, great start to this game. And Dante Buchanan fumbled. And that's recovered by the Seahawks. Oh 
Okay. Oh my god, did he miss it? Oh, off the post and in. Fuck it. Is that, is that Kevin Costner in Dances with Wolves? Who is their kicker? Just look like Cristiano Ronaldo off the post and in. What are we doing out here? We gotta go to the spark plug. Oh, that spark plug that fumbled already? Yeah, that's the one. Let's go to Josh Gordon in the slot. Here he is. High as a kite per usual. Bowling over everyone. First down. One of our first of the game. First through the air, that's for sure. Because that was our first completion. It's magical, magical to watch. Buchanan in motion. He is so quick. <laughs> nice throw. We got Kalan Adkins in the game. I mean, it's at the point where you're like, why not just take a shot to a playmaker? Oh, they're blitzing hard. We're going to throw it up to him. Just go up and get it, Kalan. Of course not. I can't really expect him to come down with that. I'm surprised I wasn't intercepted, to be honest. I need this offensive line to uh, block for longer. I think would be a great start. All right, my favorite. Back on defense. We've been elite from this position all game. It's going to be a run. Nope, nope. And there goes Thomas Rawls. Going to spin out Aaron Merritt. And there he goes. Wave goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Obi Melifon was going to chase him down and bring him down this time. Unbelievable. Five rushes, 161 yards, and a touchdown. If I, if I didn't know better, I'd say Thomas Rawls is undoubtedly the best player we've ever faced in this series. Aaron Merritt looked like a lost child on that one. And who's to say that he wasn't? And that's thrown behind the line. Look at Aaron Merritt that time. Says, hey, look at me. I'll make up for my mistake. Guess what? How are you going to make up for 70 free yards? You can't. And I just didn't develop some weird British accent. I mean, like, free 70 yards because he didn't even attempt to wrap up. Just ran right by Thomas Rawls, who did the worst spin move I've ever seen. Aaron Merritt, well, he's on a, you know, a damn merry-go-round. Had no idea where he went. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. What a throw. Looking like Jimmy Garoppolo out there. Looks like it's going to be a 20 to nothing. Where's my coach's suggestion for quit and restart? That'd be a great one. We're just going to try to run the ball. Offensive line's been pretty good in that department all day. Look at Joey Cummings with the speed. Get out of here. I got to run the ball over here. We're going to celebrate down 20 to nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's what Joey Cummings brings to the table. A little premature. Cummings there because uh, you know we're still very far out of the lead I appreciate the desire to get back in this one I see what he's doing 10 seconds 75 yards 7 points uh, and a dream give me the ball somebody somebody contain this somebody contain this thank you Aaron Lynch sacks Russell Wilson who wants nothing more than to escape and scramble um, like he's fucking eggs every single play controller disconnected again it's trying to save me from the onslaught that's inevitable uh but now we're gonna we're gonna keep in like uh general custody we're just gonna keep you know leading this team into uh, an inevitable doom give me a returnable punt that's exactly what uh, the doctor prescribed I guess I'm the doctor in that scenario there's Walter Wiley has space down the sideline he could second inches we could run could also find Dante Buchanan we're gonna roll out here there are a number of open options look at Jimmy Garoppolo the elegance the speed the first down that is a weak front to give we're running this football with Joey Cummings he's going up the middle and he's getting the first down five rushes 119 yards and a touchdown both run defenses have been really at the top of their games today as Joey Cummings is actually tackled this time. Is that Malik McDowell? Is that where it's 94? It is. If they're in a cover too, Dante Buchanan will be so open. And there's a flag. Is this a free play? We're going to throw that ball like it is. That's Dante Buchanan. Please be defensive pass interference, defensive holding. But that's offensive holding. I'm going to be furious. What do you know? And the play is negated. The right guard, Zach Kubiak. You're sick, dude. We'll run this way. Hopefully we get a good block from Josh Gordon. Uh, and that block is shed immediately up the middle. That's uh, Jerron Reed. And that's also third and 19. Let's just, just somebody just give me the fucking chance. 
They're slant Kalan Adkins. He's gonna get open. Jimmy Garoppolo is gonna miss the throw. A was open. I couldn't throw the ball. I I was already gonna get sacked. Again, uh, get new batteries. Shut up, all right? What do you think of a millionaire? And uh, another check down. This game's a lot of fun to play. Russell Wilson's completed 13 passes. Uh, under 100 passing yards. He's the Jarvis Landry of quarterbacks. 30 seconds to go in the half. And uh, Tajay Sharp is open, and that's a touchdown. It's a pretty big gamble, considering their pass rush is getting to me in, uh, you know, point oh seconds. Oh, timeout, timeout, no! Tough. Tough. Uh, I didn't I didn't expect that to happen the way it did. We we maybe had points there. But we do get the ball at a halftime. This game is not over. Walter Wiley's career might be after that clothesline from hell from JBL there. I don't know. And uh, trying to do something here. And that's it. There it is. Open. Josh Gordon. Uh, I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't even know what to say. I I really just don't have the time in the pocket I'd like. I think that's the first thing I'd like to say. Just don't have it. Joey Cummings back in here on third and one. Go get it. Go get it. Joey Cummings first down. He's just... His speed is so lethal. Eight rushes, 134 yards, and a touchdown. Um... Let's get into this. If we could run to the opposite side now, we should have a block. There it is. There it is. Joey Cummings. Look at the speed. That's a first down. Nine rushes, 144 yards, and a touchdown. What an unbelievable day from Joey Cummings thus far. But we can't focus on that. We got to focus on getting into the end zone. I know this has happened several times. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really affect you. It's my, uh, I need a new cord, I think, maybe. And I really want to throw that ball. Look at the wheels, the, the vision of Joey, whatever the fuck your name is, Jimmy Garoppolo. Can't even speak. I'm so excited. Down to the four. I think we're going to try and end around with Sanchez Heaney. He's fast. Could be able to get the job done. Sanchez Heaney gets a block, and he gets a rushing touchdown. He's been a very versatile player for us. This is his first career rushing touchdown, I think, pretty obviously. And we're only down by two touchdowns. Oh, no. Now we're only down by two touchdowns. The game uh, corrected itself for me. Or I did subconsciously. Either way, it's fucking stupid. All right, here we go, Walter. It's a decent block. Spin. He breaks a tackle. That's a great return. I know it doesn't look like much. That's a fantastic return. I haven't seen Dante Buchanan in Lord knows how many plays. But we're back out here. And we're going to throw that football. It's Josh Gordon. Breaks a tackle. Go, Josh. Go, Josh. Earl Thomas is back here. Back from the dead to tackle Josh Gordon. <laughs> we are 5 of 12 through the air. A lot of yardage, though. It's more than I can say. For the Seattle Seacocks. Let's streak Josh Gordon here. We might have a shot. We might have a shot. Josh Gordon, we're going to throw that football. We're going to throw it. Josh Gordon, go up and get it. Maybe he should have bulleted that one. I don't know. I never I never know what to do which one. We're all wondering the same thing. Where the fuck is Dante Buchanan? It's Kalan Adkins is here. Wow. That didn't look like it uh, felt good. You know, maybe I'm speaking a little bit too early, but throughout all the completions this game, you know what Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't have? And that's an interception. And I'd like to keep it that way, as Joey Cummings is going to get the football, and Joey Cummings is going to score. This comeback speed, I don't know what Kyle Juszczyk is doing. This game is winnable. This comeback, feasible. This extra point, makeable. Down by seven. The more difficult the sliders on All Madden, you'll notice the CPU doesn't take chances and doesn't make mistakes. 
There are no opportunities for interceptions. They never fumble, uh, ever. I've, I don't think I've ever seen one. And even if they did, it, Solomon Thomas would never recover. They do, they actually, they, they never throw interceptions, though. That's a fact. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? But also, also Dante Buchanan. Where is he? We're going to throw that football. It's Josh Gordon. He is coming alive in this game. He's having a great day. Maybe. Uh, 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 nice, 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 dead. Michael Bennett, three and a half sacks. Sick. I have absolutely no clue where Dante Buchanan is. He's not injured. He just does this in games as Marcus Wiley has the edge. Marcus Wiley, we're going to die for that one. It's very close to the first down marker. Uh, Dante Buchanan just leaves games and doesn't doesn't come back he doesn't get injured he just leaves i don't know if he had like other plans or he's going to take a shit but he he just totally oh, oh walter wiley that was maybe the worst dive attempt i've ever seen Jonu Smith, maybe. Nope. Uh, that was me waving goodbye to the momentum. As uh, Sebastian Box out here, still kicking field goals. That eye black's really helping you. Now by 14 again. This time Phillips is back here. Where are my actual players, man? This is not the time. Please get back out on the field. How do you get so tired that you don't come back for multiple series at a time? I don't understand. He's still not even here. Where are my receivers? Where are any of my players? Are we just benching the starters here? I'm not sure what's going on. Josh Gordon's back. You know who's not? I'll give you a guess. I need to get Dante Buchanan's face on a fucking milk carton at this point. As uh, that pass is going to be incomplete. Just trying to find anybody open without throwing an interception. It's difficult. Do I fake this? Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're faking it. Oh, that's not a great throw. It looked like that was to Perry Cox. It was not. That's, uh, that's great. That was a gamble I had absolutely no business taking. It's a great, great way to contain because uh, Russell Wilson doing what he does on All Madden, which is scramble every fucking play. That's how we have all of our sacks, believe it or not. Every single one of them. None of them is generated pressure. It's Russell Wilson running into a player. Like a fucking maniac. I hate this game. That's not even a joke, by the way. I hate this game. I wish I had never had to play it ever again. It brings me so much pain. Like sucking me down with Reuben Foster. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm back there. Easy reads. Uh, Shell Silverstein, some bullshit poem fuckery. The worst part is, is this game is still winnable. And we just don't have our best players in the game. You know, I'm going to throw that ball. Josh Gordon, make a play. That's going to be intercepted. Of course it is. Ah, oh, God. This game fucking blows. No, are you fucking serious? Why are you... Do you see what I'm fucking talking about here? This game is... An I'm changing the sliders again. Because this shit's fucking ridiculous. Uh, my starting center, Spencer Long, tore his shoulder. Down by 21. If it's any indication of past events, this game is over. We still don't have Dante. Where the fuck are my players, man? They just leave. Dante Buchanan's like, fuck, this game's over. I'm leaving the stadium. They literally, he's, he has not checked back in in over a quarter. 
Where did he go? Like, I'm getting so frustrated. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, that also frustrates me. When Frank Clark literally is taking uh, my right tackle, which is Trenton Brown, holding him down and fucking him like a Korean hooker. There's nothing I can do. BJ Pools, like anything you can do, I can do better, which is uh, actually doing it worse. We've, we've let up 10 sacks today. And shorter route combos. Fuck off. Fourth and 28. Let's go to our fourth and 28 play in the playbook. All right. And it's going to be uh, Kalan Adkins, probably. That's a great pass. I am no longer trying to win. Fun fact. Just not. It's a pretty good run, though. I'm going to be fucking sick, by the way, in this game. Um, just, I don't, Jimmy Garoppolo's got the slowest release I've ever seen from anyone. I mean, I don't mean NFL quarterbacks. I mean anyone. I'm going to throw that ball. It's Marcus Wiley in stride. Juke back inside. Oh, boy. Look at the vision. And by vision, I mean I playmaker him off screen. Look at the group of playmakers in the game. And we're going to give the ball to Walter Wiley. How many handoffs does he get per game? Like, none. And he makes this one count. Touchdown. And that's the ball game. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Uh, we're, the stats were bad. That's uh, that's what they were. Uh, I need to have a word with Dante Buchanan. And I need to ask him, Hey, where the fuck were you, bud? I didn't see you at all. Here are the sliders that are being adjusted. Um, I'm going to load the file real quick just to make sure. That was the file on the 19th. Today's the 20th. Quarterback accuracy is going up to a 33. Pass blocking is going up to a 73. Uh, wide receiver catching, we're going to try 58 for my man Daryl Washington. Run blocking, I'm going to go to a 48. Fumbles is fine. Pass defense reaction time is going to be 75. Pass coverage, 75. Tackling, I'm going to go just 55. Um, and then the rest, I think, is fine. And then on CPU, I'm doing this in the main menu because it plays better. If you do it this way, I'm going to QB accuracy 23. I'm going pass blocking 20. I think wide receiver catching is fine. Maybe I'll boost that to a 50. Run blocking, I think for the most part is fine. I mean, they'll break one or two every so often. Fumbles, I think it's fine. Uh, and I think for the most part, their coverage is maybe a bit better. We'll bring that down to a 34. I think reaction time is fine. I think tackling is fine. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save that as well. But I think the biggest thing is QB accuracy and pass blocking. I'm going to do down one again. So that's going to be defense. And then I'm going to import it back in the franchise. Dante Buchanan's stamina, because I am I am super curious, uh, is a 94. That's interesting. Um, didn't think that's what it would be. So, oh yeah, I gotta import the sliders. That's a good point, me. Import custom sliders. There they are. These are what they're gonna be. Fatigue will be down a lot. We're gonna go 55 on that. Minimum player speed threshold, I think is good. And I'm gonna go injuries, 17. Defensive pass interference is gonna go up to a 60. I think the rest is good. All right, we're not going to play the Browns, so rookies, wherever your stat lines are, that's where they're going to be for the rest of the season. I'm going to scout first, though. All right, can we beat the Browns in advance of the playoffs? I don't think we're even in contention for it. Nope. We have player regression because uh, Joey Cummings averaged under four yards per carry, I guess. Interesting. We would finish seven and nine. 
third in the NFC West. I think a lot of teams finish with very, very similar records. We'll go ahead and take a look at teams that made the playoffs. Uh, so Browns, Chargers, Saints, Cowboys, uh, Eagles, Packers, Bengals, Patriots. Let me see what their records were. So the worst possible record they got in was nine wins from the Browns. We just would not have been in contention for it. Uh, just didn't play well enough in simulation, I think is what it comes down to. But uh, we did finish 7-9. and nine. We'll take a look at the stats. This is the end of the season. I know I powered through this one. Jimmy Garoppolo, for the most part, um, was not that bad other than being sacked 65 times. Rushing, I was for the week. Joey Cummings, they had a pretty good season. So did Marcus Wiley, though. Eight touchdowns. Uh, not too shabby. Receiving, Sanchez Heaney was our only 1,000-yard receiver. Dante Buchanan, nearly 1,000 yards. He had six touchdowns, though. Blocking. Sacks allowed. Just a large number from a lot of different players. Defensively, Ruben Foster led our team. 123 tackles, 11 tackles for loss, 3.5 sacks, 4 interceptions. I mean, that's a defensive player of the year uh, worthy season, if you ask me. 10 tackles for loss for Solomon Thomas and DeForest Buckner. Sacks, 10.5 for DeForest Buckner, 9.5 for Aaron Lynch, 7.5 for Solomon Thomas. Interceptions, we have 4 from Ruben Foster, 3 for the rookie Shakuris Ward out of Nebraska. Just not getting enough force or excuse me, interceptions anymore. Uh, force fumbles, only two from a number of players. And then I think we do have at least one defensive touchdown. Ray Ray Armstrong and Rashard Robinson, who's an impending free agent. Awards. I mean, we'll go over the rest of this stuff. I just want a, a quick check um, to see if we won anything. Ruben Foster didn't even make the list. Uh, Dante Buchanan at four. Marcus Wiley at six for... Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Jacorius Ward at 3, Perry Cox and Derek Winfield at 8 and 9. But we got the offseason coming up next. That'll be its own stream. So stay tuned for that. Should be very, very soon, if not tomorrow by the time you guys are seeing this. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shit don't run well.